today watching all of those comings and goings and he joins us right now. Clovis, what's the latest from where you are? Well, Stanislas Guérini from Emmanuel Macron's movement Renaissance has just entered the Élysée Palace for talks this after at the leader of Modem, the centrist party here in France, François Bayrou. Uh, needless to say, talks will run smoothly with those two men. They are very close allies, of course, of Emmanuel Macron. But talks were probably a little harder this morning. You heard Christian Jacob from centre-right movement Les Républicains, the party that was once in power under a different name with Nicolas. Nicolas Sarkozy. Uh, he was at the Elysee Palace first, Christian Jacob uh, talking with Emmanuel Macron, making it clear there will be no pact, no alliances. I asked him, has he offered any positions at the uh, uh, National Assembly or even in government uh, to become a minister, one of the one member of Les Républicains? He said, Emmanuel Macron didn't have the time to do that because I made it very clear there would be no betrayal of our voters, of those who chose Les Républicains in Sunday's parliamentary elections. Then there was Olivier Faure, the head of the Socialist Party. Socialist Party also once in power with François Hollande. Olivier Faure and the Socialists are part of the NUP, which is the left-wing coalition led by the far left and Jean-Luc Mélenchon. So Olivier Faure also said there would be no alliance. And he also criticized quite strongly uh, President Macron, saying that uh, President Macron needed to act upon these results, realized that he hasn't got all the powers that he needs to take in account uh, the points of views of the opposition today, tomorrow, at the National uh, Assembly. Uh, Emmanuel Macron in a very uncomfortable uh, position. All of this because he did not get this absolute majority he needs at the National Assembly to pass laws freely. And Clovis, where do these talks today leave the Prime Minister, Elizabeth Bourne? Because she offered her resignation today, didn't she? But the Prime Minister, the President rather, said, no, you need to stay in office. So what's happening with that? Well, it's a tradition for the Prime Minister to hand over his reg resignation just after the parliamentary elections. Uh, and then usually a government is swiftly formed. This time it will take a little longer because of the current situation, because of negotiations with other parties to form alliances. Uh, Emmanuel Macron refused this resignation, of course. He said the government needed to stay at work. The Elysee tells us uh, that there are important decrees that need to be passed in the uh, coming uh, days. The Elysee Palace saying that Elisabeth Bonn is still very much the woman for the job, uh, for the top, uh, for the, to be a Prime Minister of France. That should not change in the uh, coming weeks. However, there will be a government reshuffle because all of those ministers who lost in the parliamentary elections, Brigitte Bourguignon, Health Minister, Amélie de Montchalin, uh, Ecologic Transition Minister, they need to leave. Who will replace them? That's the question. That's also why Emmanuel Macron is consulting, discussing with other parties. Possibly he'll choose uh, members from the opposition to try to get a deal across, if you will, We'll have to wait and see. Talks continuing today with Marine Le Pen, the leader of the far right, the national rally. She did very well in the uh, parliamentary elections. She will be coming here. No doubt she'll tell Emmanuel Macron no alliance with us either. Let us know what happens. For now, though, thanks very much. Clovis Casali at the Elysee Palace in central Paris.